right i have started recording of this particular session and this is just for your consent okay so let us begin with linux okay guys anyone has any idea what is linux linux is overall command mode sir command mode okay very good yes sir anyone else linux is a open source operating system very good open source and what is closed source i don't know Okay, it is open source. And any anything else? Because I just want to understand that the particular operating system or the particular stuff which we are going to study, we should be knowing about it first. Uh, I think Linux sir, working uh, as a, a virtual uh, machine. Sir, first implementation of Unix, sir. Okay, virtual machine. Yes, sir. Support the many networking protocols and configuration, sir. Okay. Open source develop, development model, sir. Open source development environment. Yes, sir. Okay. Anything else? License free OS. License free OS. Okay, anything else? So guys, I'm just trying to understand like how much you understand what is Linux operating system? Anything else about it? It is not kind of sir. Linux operating system. Sir, Linux operating system nothing but uh, it's a interface between user and computer hardware, sir. Computer hardware. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, the hardware of computer. Uh, can't be understand the human readable language. Sir, it is work is binary, sir. Zero and one. Okay, so every operating system works on the same way. Yes, sir. Good. Uh, next is the community development. Of okay. <laughs> So let me come on to it. So guys, when we call it open source, so we need to understand if, if this is open source, what is closed source? So I hope that every one of us, every one of us has must have played any or the other game, maybe on mobile operating system, maybe on desktop or laptop, right? So guys, do you have any idea? Like, let us say we are playing Apple Run or maybe Candy Crush. Or maybe any other other game. So if we get to know like what is going to happen next, will it be easy for us to play the game? Like if we already know in advance, like what should be our next move? If we understand that, then definitely it is going to be really easy for us to handle the game or to play the game. So if we understand what is going to happen next or how the particular game is structured, what are the rules and regulations of this particular game? If we understand everything well, so that is open source. Reason being, the particular code which is written in order to make that particular game accessible. If we are aware of it, that is open source. If we need to modify that based on our requirement, that is open source. But let us say there are two operating systems, Linux and second one is Windows. 
so windows is not an open source operating system windows yeah. is a closed source we cannot discuss the particular source code of windows we cannot access the source code of windows operating system because that is not open source only microsoft has rights in order to understand the particular code which is written for windows operating system that is known as closed source operating system now if we talk about like now why do we need linux okay guys why do we need linux operating system anyone who has any idea about it sir security purpose sir full security purpose that's why use linux sir okay so can we not implement security in windows if we write here like it is secure op secure operating system so is windows not secure it has a uh, low memory okay let us say if we skip memory part so are both operating so uh, are both operating system going to work the same except memory part yes okay so let me tell you guys memory plays a role for sure and uh, like with an operating system but this is not the only reason to learn linux operating system when we say like linux is open source it means we can modify the operating system based on our requirement next thing here is like it is a virtual machine so guys it is never meant that linux can be installed or can be operated only on a virtual machine it can be a physical device or a virtual machine or a container environment obviously i will come on to that particular part as well that what is container what is virtual machine what is physical hardware so the very first thing which i would like to highlight linux is not meant to be running inside virtual machines it can be installed on physical servers on virtual machine and in container environment as well container means like docker you must have heard of docker container or maybe like kubernetes environment so we can use linux anywhere next it is dev environment so it is not mean to go for only dev environment or maybe development environment no that does not mean that we are going to use linux only on development environment it can be used for development for testing purpose for user acceptance test environment and maybe for production we can use anywhere now next it is free operating system yes for sure i would appreciate that particular point linux is a free operating system we need not to pay anything in order to use operating system but yes if we are using kind of operating system with where we can get support so support is paid and support is really costly here then after computer hardware so linux operating system has nothing to do with computer hardware that point is not valid it is not computer hardware it is just an operating system secure operating system obviously it is secure because it provides a lot of parameters if we apply, if we implement that so it becomes really secure now before moving ahead what i would like what i would like to highlight here is first of all we need to understand that what are the rules and responsibility and what are the particular rules which we can expect if we learn linux properly so the very first thing what are the rules available in market where we can apply for this particular job after completing linux operating system administration guys anyone who has any idea about it like what can what kind of job can we get after completing linux operating system course yes yes ben can you please explain just like linux oh and... yes uh, i'm working right now because of linux side that i learned i said then it's admin and there's huge opportunity out there everywhere you go it's linux network people that we work with they all everything they're doing and it's linux so linux is the core 
okay so the very first job which you can expect after completion of this particular course is known as linux admin you can become a linux administrator after after this particular course second thing you can become a particular web web administration web administrator why is that so because most of web servers like websites are hosted on linux environment i would not say 100% but yes most of third thing if you understand linux well because end of the day when we are talking about command line like when things are operating with the help of some commands so what can we achieve here like we can easily get converted into network administrator because end of the day all the network devices be it is router it is switch or it is someone else so these are operated we have some command line only right just give me a moment guys Yes, guys. So, first of all, you can become a Linux administrator. You can become a web server admin, right? Aside to this, you can easily become L1 support engineer. Then L2 after, and L. then after there is a particular term known as L2 support. and finally l3 so there are different roles and responsibilities which are assigned to an individual person let us say if you are working as l1 engineer so what is going to be your responsibility that you will be held responsible for like you will get a call that some website is not working and you will let them know like why it is not working you will be responsible for monitoring the infrastructure then after if any developer is going to call you then you will be held responsible to serve the log the log of that particular web application that server maybe from server maybe from web application so whatever that are the kind of logs you will be responsible in order to share the logs with the developer based on the suggestion you will be entitled to make modification into that particular server configuration but only with the help of your senior now if you are working as l2 support engineer your job is not only going to be to just look on the particular monitoring engine you will be held responsible to set up monitoring let us say if there is a new server being introduced so you will be responsible in order to set up monitoring on that you will be held responsible that all the parameters which are configured on that particular server are working appropriate all the relevant stakeholders are getting proper monitoring alerts or not if any false alert is being generated then you will have to fix that particular part because right now you are working in l2 support engineer part and if you are working as l3 then if a new server being set up from scratch then you will be responsible for it right from scratch you will be held responsible to set up to help your team in order to like you will be guiding your team in order to set up monitoring like how can we deliver logs automatically to developers how we can reduce our daily workload so kind of automation stuff is also included in l3 support and most of troubleshooting tickets would be coming to you if you are working as l3 support engineer like l3 means level 3 here you must have at least 5 to 7 year of working experience within l2 like 3 to 5 year of working experience is more than good good enough and l1 you can start as fresher so the kind of experience you have that will decide that what kind of level you are going to get now if i talk about like what are the names being given to these kind of engineers so these engineers are known as with multiple names such as different organization prefer to call these for these people with different names let me tell you a couple of names here so first of all it can be 
either a particular tech off team a person working in support engine support system the person can be known as like l1 tech off second thing a person may be known as sre now what does that mean sre tech off mean technical operation technical operation it means the particular support system which runs the entire environment that is known as tech off sre stands for site reliability engineering this was the term which was introduced by google SRE. Third one is known as DevOps. It means if you have knowledge of development as well as operation, then you can become easily a DevOps engineer. So guys, keep this particular thing in mind, be it is TechOps, be it is SRE or be it is DevOps. Linux is such an operating system which has to be known to each of these profiles. Obviously, there are other profiles. Let us say we can talk about QA engineers like quality, like analysts, quality assurance engineer. We can talk about like developers. Like there are different profiles as well. But if we talk about those profiles which are based on Linux operating system itself, so these are majorly three: tech ops, SRE, and DevOps. Moreover, earlier, these, these profiles were known as server admin. These profiles were known as server admins earlier. Right now, as like multiple tools are being introduced within the industry, so based on these tools and their understanding, these profiles are named in advanced manner in like some kind of fancy names are given like tech ops, SRE, DevOps. Earlier, these profiles were known as server admins. Are we clear with that? Guys, any questions so far? Guys, any questions so far? Guys, am I audible? Yes, sir. Your voice is audible, sir. Okay. Any questions so far? No, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Very good. So, once we are aware of these particular profiles, now let us talk about what kind of environment we are supposed to work with. So the very first environment which you may get to work with, that could be a physical environment. Or you can call that like physical servers will be there where you will get a chance to work. There will be physical boxes, physical servers will be there and you will get a chance to work with those. Second thing, it could be a virtual machine. Like someone said earlier, like Linux is a virtual machine. No, Linux is not a virtual machine, but it is a particular operating system which can be installed or which can be used inside a physical server, inside a virtual machine. And the third component here is container. So either we may get a chance to work with physical server or with a virtual machine or with a container. Now, when we talk about like what other type of environments are going to be there. So based on the utilization, everywhere, wherever you work, so there are different kinds of environments available. So the very first environment is going to be like development. The very first environment is going to be development. Second one is known as like where developers work on their laptop and after that they try to run their code onto some server. So those servers are known as dev servers, like development servers, where development is happening. A lot of scope of doing mistakes are there. They can improvise their code. They can test their code. They can, they can rely, like run some kind of load testing on it. So that is known as development environment. Second environment here is, which is known as QA. Now, what does that mean QA? Q means quality assurance. Where testing happens, like whether the particular developed software is working properly or not, all the parameters, whatever are required to be there, they are working properly. So all the happy workflow, like a user is able to log into application, 
for example we are working with any kind of ecom platform so user is able to log in next user is able to select any kind of product what the person is trying to purchase next a user is able to a user is able to check, like check out for any particular product user is able to make payment if user has selected any kind of product and has added to cart so if user goes and comes back user should be able to see the same product added to the particular cart so if all these particular features are working so these are known as happy flow at least these features should be uh, functioning properly now if a user is trying to purchase a particular product without making payment so is that possible so ideal situation here is it should not be possible that a user can purchase any product without paying the particular amount for that particular product but if there is a bug in application if there is a particular like uh, fault in application so user should be able to purchase any product without making payment so those kind of flow should also be tested properly and if that is happening that is just because we have tested negative negative test cases as well so where these kind of things are performed this is known as qa environment now after that there is a particular environment known as sit system integration test for example within our there are there are different environment like obviously we are going to talk about like we are going to talk about here pt environment we are going to talk about prod, like pre prod we are going to talk about prod environment which is on a production as well okay so when we are talking about sit so let us say there are there is some different database running inside production environment and we are trying to update that environment so how do we test it there is a different kind of environment created within the organization that whenever any development team is trying to update their software or upgrade their software so they should be provided there should there should be kind of infrastructure there should be kind of environment where developer can test their particular feature where they are trying to update the software version before pushing it to production that should be tested here in sit system integration test because let us say if we are trying to update application version or the kind of underlying technology version so how that is going to behave in production will that support on production environment or not so let us say right now we are using let us say we are using java so right now we are using java 6 and organization requires that we should be running with java 8 so what is going to be the performance of this application on java 8 it is going to improve or it is going to reduce getting point so if that kind of testing is taking place so these testings are done on sit environment now integration is working fine now, let let us say that application is supporting like every every sort of connection is being created every sort of uh, transition is taking place but when we talk about pt like performance testing so what is this performance testing so let us say an application was serving 1000 concurrent user with previous stack but when we have updated the kind of environment when we have updated underlying hardware underlying software so what is going to be the performance of this application so will it support 1200 users or it will fail only at 800 so that kind of testing is done at performance testing environment which is known as pt environment performance testing now when we are going to release the software to end users so before releasing it to all users in a single go first of all the software is, is released only to those users which are part of organization so that environment where only users which, like which belongs to your own organization can test it can do real transactions so that environment is known as pre prod environment these transactions are as good as real user transaction or like as an end user like the particular client are going to do transaction the same transaction will be done here let us say if you try to purchase any product so it will be a real product and you will have to pay a real money to the organization in order to purchase any product but yes before making it live before making it available to end users an organization prefers to go for this environment and why it is necessary guys because 
if we make it live to end user and there are some bugs there are some defects then the particular users will not have a really good impression maybe let us say if there is a particular flow or if there is a particular defect in the product so in that case it could also be possible that users may purchase product without paying the particular amount right so that environment is known as pre prod environment finally the production environment so if someone is going to ask you like that which environment you have worked with so as a linux administrator you may get a chance to work with development with quality assurance with system integration test with the performance testing environment pre prod and production environment as well so the end goal here is that we should be working with production environment guys any question so far guys any question no, no sir no okay. sir are we clear with this so far yes yeah okay very yes, good sir. now these the, the particular stuff which we have seen here is so if i if i like try to bifurcate it so this particular structure like physical virtual and uh, container so this is based on the like how the particular infrastructure is designed here this is based on the server allocation strategy like we are allocating physical servers virtual machine or container this is a strategy like the particular environment which we are going to set so what is going to be the utilization of it now there is one more way using which we decide based on network categorization so there are different network categorization so the very first categorization here is known as tmz demilitarized zone where are public facing infrastructure is kept now what does that mean public facing so guys we need to understand it well that the server where our end user is trying to hit let us say this is the particular url if you see it here app.diagrams.net is it visible guys the particular url which i have highlighted yes sir so there is a server where all the hits are going right now whenever i try to draw like drag and drop anything so whenever i am trying to do anything on this particular platform let us say if i like uh, pick it and if i try to drop it here so if i have done this kind of operation then the particular request is going to this url so the urls or the particular servers which are responsible to serve my request those servers are known as public facing server like my first hit is going to those servers and those servers are known as public facing and those servers are kept inside dmz zone demilitarized zone so if there is an organization which focuses on security so d uh, like dmz zone is the highest security zone it means only very limited port numbers are kept open for everyone no one can access to these servers until and unless the person is coming from within the organization and if those port numbers are really opened it means the website is really not secure are we clear with that this is known as dmz or dmz which means demilitarized zone next one is known as prod zone now what does that mean prod zone so where all the servers are kept where our application is deployed and what kind of application it could be a particular microservice <coughs> it could be java based application it could be any kind of application and what what is that application where our business logic is written So guys what is business logic anyone who can explain that what is business logic guys what is business logic uh, no idea sir okay so let us say 
that there is a particular sir there is a particular application let us say we are talking about flipkart for example or maybe amazon or maybe some other application or some other like website so can a user purchase a product without having a registration on the website yes guys is it practically possible that we can purchase anything from any website without doing registration on that no sir no okay, okay. very good next can a user add a product to cart without doing registration or without logging into website no sir no sir so very good very good so if a user is able to add a product to cart without logging into website without providing the information of the identity of him or herself these are known as business logics so let me tell you you can uh, like browse the website let us say it is flipkart.com you can browse the website and without doing without logging into website you are authorized or you are entitled to select any particular product and you can add that product to your cart that is a business logic reason being company does not want to restrict the user to log into website first and then start surfing or start browsing but yes as soon as let us say you have identified let us say you want to purchase three or maybe five products be it is of 20 rupees each or be it is of be it is of well, like 2000 rupees each so company does not want to restrict you to select the product, product like uh, any kind of product before logging in but yes the website has to enforce whenever you are trying to purchase those product now company would want you to log in first because if you do not log in so where company is supposed to deliver the particular product right so if these kind of logics are there so those logics are written in a kind of application which are deployed onto this prod zone or onto this production environment or prod environment now the very third environment here is which is known as tnd test and development environment is going to be here so where testing happens whatever an end user is going to face so tnd environment is always ahead than production environment because whatever new feature an end user is going to see so those particular features are tested and developed like r and d all the testing are done within this tnd environment test and development environment is the particular third environment which is known as lower environment as well we can write here like lower environment and some people prefer to call it sandbox as well different names are given but yes the ideal strategy here is first of all we have dnd zone then after we have prod zone and we have tnd zone these three different zones are there so these are highly secured prod zones are not supposed to have any kind of public ip address no one from internet can directly hit onto these servers these are really secured servers because these servers do not have, do not have public ip address so no one can access these servers from internet directly there is a connectivity like first of all user will be like coming to this particular environment and from here request will be forwarded to prod zone are we clear with that guys yes sir. any question so far no sir guys any question sir. so far so why test and development environment called as lower environment sir uh, but come again one uh, rajesh so why is a test and development environment called as lower environment sir okay so lower environment means a very tight security is not available here moreover this environment is not to serve the real customer only those users who are part of organization and pa are part of like either testing team or development team or from business or maybe you can call that product team are supposed to have access to this particular environment and users cannot do any kind of transactions here 
and if anyone comes and tries to do kind of transactions here so these are not valid one no one can come, no one can claim that i did some kind of transaction onto this particular environment and now i want my refund because it is very like clearly written on each website if that is made public that this website is for like testing and development only no real transaction has to be done here that is why it is known as lower environment so user also get access of this environment is it possible as you are saying like that? it could be possible let us say if there is a website where we are trying to check kind of things as end user so obviously there will be a url there will be a kind of application which is available to all right but real time transactions are not supposed to be done here and if anyone does that so company can easily deny that if you have done any kind of transaction here it is only for tnd purpose and because there are no like mediums like real time transaction can be done there so that is why it is known as lower environment or maybe sandbox environment so when it is prod environment it means real time transactions are supposed to be taking place here okay yes so guys are we clear so far any question guys guys any question clear okay. sir yes i just want to ask anything yes sir can we get job only with the linux core sir pardon can you get the job only with the linux core sir? yes because there are profiles where people are looking only for those engineers who are who are supposed to take care of linux environment only so there are particular teams let us say if it is a like a small organization so a single person is held responsible to do everything but if it is a big organization let us say if you talk about accenture ibm maybe infosys maybe wipro so there are different teams let us say if there are multiple servers deployed for any project so there will be a different team who will be handling only linux environment there will be different team who will be handling windows environment there will be a different team like which will be taking care of only network section there will be different team which will be taking care of security part so yes it is very much possible that you can get a job only based on linux but let us say if you try to look out for any kind of startup so one person has to be responsible for multiple activities like the same person will be responsible to manage linux environment for windows for security for network so single person has to know multiple things but this is a kind of culture which is built with the by the startups only because they want to pay obviously they pay like higher amount in comparison to big organizations startups are ready to pay more salaries but we need to understand that particular fact as well they want more and more skill let us say rather than hiring four different people they would like to hire only single person who be like who can manage all the environments work pressures and like there are lot of work to be performed by a single person in a startup environment in comparison to like big organization but salaries are different can you share me the course content sir okay so this is a kind of course content which we are going to cover here so the very first thing we will discuss about like introduction to linux like what is linux operating system why do we need it what are the particular profiles which you can target after completion of this particular course then we will move on to linux command line introduction how what is a command what is terminal what is the syntax of linux command when we execute a command what is expected output of it the executed command is successful or not how do we check that particular part so everything i'll cover over here managing files with command line like how do we copy rename delete 
so these sort of operation we will be discussing about creating and managing files like if you need to modify the time stamp of a file if you need to make if you need to archive it if you need to compress it so how do we do that linux user and group management so a complete section like how do we create users what are the commands for it what happens when a user is created how many files are created for individual user if it is created what all responsible files are there which are which are in, involved when a user is being created what all files are there where user information is being updated so everything i will cover up here so if you talk about rhce book rhcsa 1 and 2 so there are three chapters for user like for for linux user and group management only so we will try to cover here within a single go then linux file permission not only normal permission like special permissions linux file attributes everything we will try to cover here monitoring of linux like managing and monitoring linux process how do we check what process is running or not if it is running how do we restart it when it was restarted how do we identify that if a process is stopped how do we start that process automatically if we are going to reboot a server how would that process be started automatically so everything we will will be cover here then managing like service and demos like how do we start and stop service how do we configure and secure ssh connections to a server analyzing and storing logs then after like uh, how do we manage network of linux operating system backup files like how do we take backup of files so everything we are going to cover here uh, so someone is asking like which flavor of linux will you teach so i'm going to cover here rhl9 let me tell you guys i'm going to cover here r h e l 9 red hat enterprise linux 9 i'm going to cover this is the latest operating system which is available in market is still most of organizations are running on original 6 or 7 or maybe some some maybe couple of organizations have moved to r h l 8 but we are going to discuss here r h l 9 reason being if someone is going to ask you what is the difference between rhl 8 and 9 so you should be able to know you should be able to answer the question now guys uh, after like backup files we will talk about like package management how do we install software how do we configure it how do we update a software how do we patch a linux software how do we secure it everything will be covered here now we will talk about like understand linux file system what are the files how do we handle these if we are installing any software so what particular files are being created how do we understand when the software was installed everything we will try to see here now we will try to understand dns domain name server its record type how do we update it here in linux operating system everything we will try to cover here then after a web server httpd an editor which is known as vi or vim how do we automate a task like scheduling of a task with the help of cron linux process management then after a special file permission maybe it is uh, chat fsl maybe it is chatter so the different kind of commands are there managing ac linux so like this is known as security enhance linux how do we manage disk partitions disk management swap management lvm creation nfs creation boot process and troubleshooting shell scripting introduction docker introduction then after different shell and its uses os patching and updation and an operating system updating so these sort of things we are going to cover here and guys if you know these many things it means you are able to crack an interview that you shall be able to prove that yes you have more than 5 year of working experience onto linux environment duration sir yeah. yes um hello yes so any questions so far uh, are you providing the recorded sessions for us sir yes okay. every single class will be recorded and post every class maybe after 30 minutes or maybe after an hour every single recorded session will be provided to you for future reference okay
sir on general question sir yes Hello. please please go ahead all the videos regarding uh, linux are available in your uh, your channel but why should you uh, take this class sir okay so the particular sessions which are available within uh, obviously you can go through those but those are not that much detailed moreover okay like let us say i have created couple of videos which are of 10 minutes 20 minutes maybe for an hour or so but there are there is no chance to ask sort of questions if you have any kind of doubt so no help is available there based like if you comment so maybe after a week or maybe 10 days or maybe two days i can maybe possible i can like answer there but here we are going to discuss in real time and moreover we are going to discuss here all the real time scenarios like if you are working in corporate environment so what kind of tasks are assigned to you how do you handle that how a task is assigned to you so these sort of things we are going to discuss okay are you helping in resume preparation also sir pardon resume preparation also you are going to help for sure for sure i'll uh, like i'll help you to share kind of resumes moreover i'll help you to uh, like look for a job as well i have multiple students working in different organizations so whenever there is a particular like requirement within any organization and, and if they let me know so i'll forward your resume as well what's the duration sir two months two months uh, monday to friday or monday to saturday no, no, it is saturday and sunday only two, only two days two days three hours every day okay, so this okay. is going to be kind of introduction session today mm -hmm. Okay. While practicing, if you are getting any uh, doubts, how can you reach you, sir? You can call me directly on my phone. Are you providing the number, sir? Yes, definitely. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hello, sir. Certification. Yes. Please go ahead. Uh, uh, how much uh, price for certification? Uh, your voice is not clear. Can you please come again? Hello, uh, sir. Uh, how many types of certification or uh, certification price? Hello. Yes. So, uh, if you want to go for certification, so that cost will be separate. I can definitely help you to prepare for the certification, but let me tell you, certification does not really help in order to get a job. It is only your knowledge. Because see, if you are certified, they will take your interview, like whoever is, like wherever you are trying to get a job. So, the person will definitely take your interview. You will have to answer the questions. Certificate can only help you if you are a fresher and if you're trying to show that, yes, you are certified person, you have amount of knowledge which is required to crack and like uh, to crack a certificate. Okay. Yes. That means sir, a certification is not a required for interview or the job. So, Gyan, let me not tell you one more thing here. Okay. When you are certified, so some more expectation would be there from your side. Like, okay. If you are a certified person, so they would ask you more and more questions. Reason being because you are certified and you should have a plenty amount of knowledge. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I would not say that a person should not pursue the certification. Definitely certificates are required. But to get a job, I would say if you practice more, if you have good amount of hands-on onto this particular task, then you can easily crack interview. Certificate can only help you to get calls from a company. Like wherever you are trying to apply, that, 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 that's a different matter. But yes, it can only okay. help you to get calls. But end of the day, your knowledge is going to help you in order to crack the interview. Okay. Now, let's come on to that particular part, like how we are going to do practice. So guys, you can create, you can easily create your AWS account. This particular account is free for one calendar year. 
you will not be paying anything here in order to practice for linux operating system one operating system with one cp and one gb of ram is given to you for one calendar year you will have to pay only 2 rupees 2 indian rupees you will have to pay at the time of your account opening and even those 2 2 rupees are refunded to you maybe within 72 working hours but yes you will have to be very careful when you are going to create a machine so once you are done with your practice so you need to terminate the machine so maybe from tomorrow onwards definitely we are going to move on to this particular section like how do we create machine and all so this was kind of introduction and like what are the kind of topics we are going to cover how we are going to cover this particular class what is going to happen here this like this so this was a kind of introduction session for today only from tomorrow onwards obviously we are going to see how do we create machine how do we log into it how do we practice so everything will be covered and you need not to worry about like how you are going to manage your labs maybe you can create multiple machines let us say we, we have to perform any kind of practical where multiple machines are required so you can create maybe four machines at a time in this particular account without paying anything to aws i'll help you to understand like what is the particular concept how do we manage that particular part you need not to worry about it we will set up our complete lab on this particular platform only which is known as aws amazon web services without paying anything but yes for sure we have to be little careful that we should not left any inst any instance running if we are not utilizing it are we clear with that guys yes sir yes sir yes sir okay now it is your time to ask any question if you have else we will start from tomorrow same time and we will begin with the with the like linux environment so today it was just introduction like what we are going to cover what are the profile you can expect for and definitely guys trust me when i say that you shall be able to show at least 3 to 5 year of working experience after completion of this particular course the kind of knowledge you are going to get after completion of this that will be up to 3 to 5 years and when i say 3 to 5 years that will be depending like how much practice do you do you perform from your side from my side i can ensure that an administrator who has already worked for 5 years into this environment will be able to match your knowledge or may not be able to thank you for your support sir and your guidance sir what about the scripting scripting knowledge sir pardon scripting scripting self scripting so I'll, i'll i'll let you know scripting as well don't worry so when i said like introduction so i'll help you to reach up to that level that you shall be able to practice as much as you want okay cell scripting is like you you know the commands yes. now you are going to put the commands in a sequential manner to obtain a certain output that is known as cell script commands first of all we will learn that when we know the commands then we can put the commands in a in a kind of file and we can execute it that is cell script so firstly we need to understand the commands then we need to put out the command in a file and we can execute that as cell script so definitely don't worry i'll let you know that anything else guys no sir nothing sir oh, sir. so okay guys that is it for today so we are going to continue the same session tomorrow the same time we are going to meet around 9 am and we will continue with linux operating system thank you sir thank you so much sir okay sir thank okay. you sir so very much have a good time take care god bless you all thank you sir bye 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 sir bye sir thank you sir. bye